welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and today we are doing another episode of Fixing Common Decor Mistakes or a little series here I do on my channel known as What Would Drew Do? And if you've never seen this series before, it is where I help you guys out with your design dilemmas. So you send in photos and videos of your spaces and I actually redesign them completely with brand new renderings with a full on outcome at the end. So you're gonna be able to see kind of what the before and after of your space could actually look like. And if you are interested in submitting your space for What Would Drew Do? You can totally do so. There is a link in the description box below and the link just takes you to a page on my website. It has all of the details with all of the information on how to enter your space for an episode of this series. And today's video is actually an extra special one because it is kindly sponsored by Wayfair. I'm sure a ton of you guys out there know exactly what Wayfair is. It is an incredible online site where you can purchase so many different home decor finds, furniture, rugs, decor. They have absolutely everything. And I also normally find really budget friendly options over on Wayfair as well. But you guys might not know about their YouTube channel, which I'm going to link in the description box below because it is such an inspirational channel you guys and they actually are coming out with a brand new series known as the slow build they actually already sent me over an episode and you guys you are going to want to watch this if you are an asmr lover which i am a humongous asmr lover you can find me watching asmr for like two hours every single night before going to bed i love it so much so they basically mixed asmr with interior design and the videography and the styling of these spaces is impeccable i just love this concept so much and you essentially just watch somebody build out a space from before and after but it's all with sound. It's really, really interesting. I highly suggest you guys check it out. I'm going to link it below for you. Subscribe to the Wayfair channel. I will link it in the description box below for you guys. And there is so much other content other than just a slow build series. And they also have another series called Swapping Carts that I've really been into as well. This one is really fun. I'm going to link their channel below for you guys. Subscribe to it. They have a ton of really great content. And also their website has a ton of really great decor. And I'm going to be featuring some of that in today's makeovers as I go through the process. But now that you're subscribed to both of us, let's go ahead and dive on into our first space, which is a living room. This first living room space was sent over by Lone Fox family member Kendra and she actually sent along a video as well so let's go ahead and play that. Hi Drew, this is the space we need help with. I want it to be a uh, reading space slash coffee space over there and then over here is where my boys do art. So I attempted a chalk wall, we haven't used it as such. I was trying to do this combination of a nice little art spot and hangout spot, but I just don't know how to pull it together. We are willing to paint, put furniture in, take furniture out, do whatever uh, you think would make the room just look more happy, cozy, and also functional. All right, Kendra, so this is an incredible space. It looks really large and spacious, and I love that this is like an additional living room area that you're converting into a space for your kids. I think that's really nice to give them like a painting section, and I love, love, love what you did by kind of giving a color to that wall where the easels are. So I actually really like that. I think leaving it black like that is really interesting, and I think that she also mentioned that it was a chalkboard wall. I also have to preface this in every single video because it's just me as a person, and in no way am I saying that your guys' spaces are bad or they need redone or anything like that. These are just personal opinions. You know, if I was to move into this space, these are things I would do to make them, you know, my own. And I know a lot of you guys like those opinions, so let's get back to it. So the thing I wasn't a humongous fan of was the wall color. I think it's just a little bit too yellow in this space. I think if you were to neutralize it just a little bit and go in with something a little bit more taupey, maybe on the grayer side, I really think that that's going to add a little bit more emphasis and also make the molding as well pop a bit more. I just think something a little bit more more neutral will make everything else just kind of flow a bit more because the flooring is very orangey and I actually don't really mind the flooring that much and I think Kendra you might not either after you see this redesign so maybe just doing a more neutral tone on the wall like a taupey color is a great option. I also think leaving all the paint easels as they are those are totally fine there. I love them. I love how there's three of them. I think it's really cute and the little supply station kind of next to it so we can leave that in its spot as well. It is time for the fun stuff. Let's firstly start off with curtains. Now I found these really great grid curtains which I think are going to add a little bit of pattern, a little bit of print to this area since we are doing a solid wall we have our black focal wall let's go ahead and introduce a little bit of print in the curtains and I love these kind of grid ones I feel like they have the tiniest nod to school as well which I know that she homeschools and has you know the easels over there so I love that element over there it kind of reminds me of like grid paper or graph paper and I do want to go ahead and change up the rug just a little bit I feel like this one's kind of stark on the flooring so I want one that blends in just a little bit more but still also sections off that area so I opted for this rug here which I love so much I feel like it just kind of 
blends nicely with the space and it also is going to look incredible in the end. Now on top of the rug, I do want to make some changes. I'm going to swap in a brand new sofa. I wanted to add this one just for a little bit of warmth. I feel like the other one just didn't really match the exact style of the space. So I brought in this sofa just to give a different look. But of course, if Kendra wanted to keep that original one, I think it would be totally fine. And I also brought in a new coffee table as well. I think this kind of drum coffee table really grounds the space. It's an interesting shape and it's also a circle as well, which I know was previously there. But I feel like the one previously there almost gave me like an outdoorsy, just like an odd vibe in that space. And I just wanted to kind of give it a little bit more of a modernized look. So I went ahead and I added that kind of drum style coffee table. And as far as the accent chairs, I actually think you can totally keep these in the space. I went ahead and just reupholster them to show you an option if you were to go ahead and maybe change up the fabric, because at the moment they do kind of read very black and just like a black chair. So I think it would be nice to add a fabric to there. Even a little pattern would be fun just to kind of elevate that space a bit more. And then I have just two more changes to this space. I would definitely go ahead and swap out the light. We need something to fill in this area. It's a really large living room. So I found this really great kind of contemporary, but also modern light pendant. I love how there's this large white shade on it, but it also has a little bit of like an industrial quality where you can see some of the metal as well. So overall, I think this space really fits nicely. And then to play off of the black light fixture, I wanted to go ahead and then on the right wall where there currently is a mirror, add this nice large storage hutch, which could be great for, you know, painting supplies, school supplies, or even just a decorative area where you can go ahead and add a bit of personal decor, some family photos, whatever it might be. But I thought this hutch would be really beautiful on the right side. And Kendra, that is everything I would do to your space. I am in love with the outcome of this. I think it looks so incredible. I think my favorite part, honestly, is those gridded curtains. Something about them in this space just totally enhanced it. So Kendra, I hope that you love this design and it gives you a little bit of inspo and maybe a starting point for your next project. Our next space is a really great dining alcove that was actually sent along by Lone Fox family member Krishika, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing her name properly. And she actually just sent a little video kind of just showing the space a bit so you can kind of see an overview of what it looks like. And she actually wrote out something, so I just kind of want to read that to you guys. Hi Drew, I recently found your YouTube page and channel and I really love your aesthetic and how you transform different spaces. First of all, thank you so much. She said that she currently lives in New York City and works in public health, which props to you Krishika, honestly. And her husband and her bought this apartment last year and I have been slowly making it feel like home, but I'm just not sure what to do with the dining space. It's a little alcove about eight foot by 12 foot behind the living room area, and it needs clearance to get to the kitchen and then also clearance to get to the bedrooms as well. Shika did mention that she wants to keep the dining table and chairs, which I also a million percent agree. I love the dining table. I love the chairs. I love the oval shape of it and how it's like more of an oblong oval and it's just rounded on the ends. Love it. Love the wood color as well. So let's get into my design choices. So it seems like if you open the door, what you see kind of in front of you is this dining space that I want to make an impact here so my design is a little bit above and a little bit crazier than usual but you can take it as you'd like and you know implement elements that you do and maybe don't like so the first thing I would do in this space is definitely go ahead and just remove that top wall shelf I feel like your eye is instantly directed at the top wall shelf which you're looking in the top corner of a ceiling whereas I feel like your eye should be directed directly at the table or you know the light fixture something more central in that dining area so let's go ahead and remove that wall shelf and something I wanted to do in this space was actually put picture molding on all of the walls. Now picture frame molding isn't everyone's particular style so it's definitely just a design choice but I wanted to add something to this area because I do feel like the walls are a bit bland and I didn't want to go in with some crazy wallpaper or anything like that so I thought adding some picture frame molding would just overall enhance the dining space and I feel like dining rooms that do have picture frame molding it just looks so like luxurious and nice in the end and it doesn't have to cost a lot at all. So it's definitely an option to add a little bit of visual interest to this space and I went ahead and actually had two renders made for this space with two different paint colors because I I wanted to show you how a light and a dark paint color can actually look in here. So we're going to go ahead with a really light kind of pale blue color and then a more darker green color. And you're going to see those at the end when we do the before and after. Now something else I do want to do in this space is actually just do a larger rug. I feel like you can get away with a larger rug even if it kind of overlaps the entry doors to the other spaces. I don't think that's a big problem at all but I do feel like the current rug is just a tad too small and I feel like all the table and the chairs just needs to fit on top of it and kind of give it a grounding section for that table. So I'm going to go ahead and opt for this rug here. Here. I absolutely love this one. I think it is so beautiful. A brand new release as well, and it's on Wayfair. A lot of the furniture pieces I'm using in this video are actually from Wayfair. I'll have everything linked below for you guys. Now that our table has a nice little grounding point, let's go ahead and give it a little crown, which is the light on top of our table. I found this great one, again on Wayfair. I thought this one was so interesting. I just love how the arms of the chandelier kind of swoop down, then back up, and then also have a shade on them. Again, very contemporary, but just like a play on contemporary, which I think is really fun. And I'm 
opting for the brass colorway for this, but you can totally do black if that's an option that you like as well. I know that it was available in brass and black, but I thought the brass would just look really nice in contrast with the dark wood table and with our picture frame molding and kind of the bold color we're going to be doing on the walls. And really, because the space is so small, we just have a couple more additions. I wanted to go ahead and do sconces on the left and right side of our picture frame molding. So just add a sconce on the left and right side. I feel like sconces, again, in a dining room, it just elevates it. It kind of gives you that dining vibe, but it also makes you feel like you're just in a very like proper thought out dining room in a sense. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but I feel like whenever I'm in a space and it has like moody lighting in it, I'm like, wow, this was really thought out, you know? And wall sconces, you don't have to hardwire them at all. I've done so many hacks on my channel where I've literally mounted them on the wall, added some puck lights in, and then when you have friends over, you can just go ahead and, you know, click those on. I've seen a bunch of wall sconces that actually hold a candlestick. That's a great option as well. I think those would look beautiful on either side, and that doesn't require any hardwiring at all. So we have our brass sconces coordinating back to our lights on the left and right side. Now in the center, let's go ahead and just pop an artwork piece. I thought something with a nice vintage frame, something like the one on screen here would be beautiful. So if you wanted to add that brass vintage frame, again, coordinating back to our sconces, coordinating back to our pendant light. And I just love the filigree look, especially when it's with this dark wood, with the rug we chose, the picture frame molding. I just feel like all of this goes together so nicely. And that you guys really wraps up this space. It's a really small area, but I wanted to share with you guys how you can make an alcove or something that's not really its own room still really interesting and fun at the same time. I'm just really happy with the outcome of this space and Krishika, I hope that you love it as well. Maybe you can implement some of these design styles into your space and if you do, please send along some pictures. And wow, I don't even know how the time went by that quick. We are on our last space. I love doing these videos. Talking through my choices is so much fun with you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and dive on in. This is space number three, and it was sent in by Lone Fox family member Unmole. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, and I apologize tremendously if I am doing so. I'll pop it up on the screen right here. So this Lone Fox family member says, Hi Drew, I recently moved into a new 703 square foot condo. First of all, congratulations. It's my first home for me, and I'm very excited to make it unique. I have a very small living room and just don't know how to make it work. I've attached some videos and photos, hoping that you can take a look at it, and I hope that you can make it into something special. Now, when I saw this space, at first glance, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so small. It really is such a tiny living room, but I have a couple of ideas, and I actually found some really great, like, smaller storage solutions over on Wayfair that I think are great options, so let's dive into this design. You guys, living in Los Angeles, this is what I do every day. I love when the sirens come. So the two largest elements of this room, I actually feel like can stay exactly as is, and that is the couch and the wall color. I feel like the wall color is neutral. It's totally fine for this space, and I wouldn't opt for anything, you know, dark or bold because it is so small. You want to keep it as light as possible. So I think this wall color is great, and I also feel like the sofa is great as well because it really does fit that wall there. And I mean, you're not going to be able to get some big sectional or multiple sofas or a lot of additional seating in this small living room. So I feel like what you have sofa-wise is great in that corner. So the first thing I would go ahead and add to here is a new coffee table. I'm opting for a round coffee table. First of all, when you have a really small space like this, sharp corners like that, I swear you're going to hit your leg on it all the time. So we're going to go for a round coffee table. It makes the flow of a small space a lot easier as well. And this coffee table in particular has a great storage solution. You can just remove the top and inside you can store blankets, pillows. You can just use it for whatever storage you would need. So I love that it's multi-purpose. It's both a functioning coffee table and it also is a functioning storage solution. And I also found a new rug for the space on Wayfair, super affordable. And I love this one because I like how it has like a circular shape to it. So it almost nestles the coffee table in the center, but it has some linear lines as well. And overall it's graphic, but it's still light. It's not too crazy. It gives a little bit of pattern to the space, but it isn't overwhelming since it is so small. So I love how that looks on the floor there. And I can currently see over on the right side that there is a small little table, you know, with the TV on it. Now I would go ahead and get a wall mounted media unit. And I found this one again on Wayfair as well. They have some great pieces, you guys. And I love Love this one because it's super simple. It's just a little shelf, so you can add more decor on here. You can add your TV box, whatever you want to add to this like little wall-mounted area. And then underneath it, you can add a couple of baskets, which I love for additional storage. Or if you feel like you know the space doesn't fit baskets, you can just go ahead and you know put nothing under there. But I thought having baskets under there would be nice. And then on top of that, we're gonna of course mount the TV right over the media console. I think in this living room in particular, it's extremely important to go ahead and mount that TV on the wall, just because there isn't a lot of space here. So we want to reduce and use as much vertical 
vertical space as we can as opposed to you know having a media console that pops out of the wall 12 inches and doesn't give you much movement in the living room that's what's really nice about the wall mounted consoles is that they're really skinny so they only protrude from the wall a couple of inches and i feel like every single small space just needs a little bit of life i always feel like small areas need plants it just adds that element of life vibrancy and just like airiness to a space i always feel like plants do that so i wanted to add an olive tree to that left corner now now that it's freed up the tv's out of it i love this little olive plant over in the corner and i feel like it just adds a nice little bit of life to this area and a couple more elements i wanted to add to this space firstly a light i can see that there is a light fixture um outlet in the top there or like a little area you can pull off and install your own light fixture so i definitely think you should do so and i found this insanely beautiful one i love the wooden structure of it i like how it kind of has a linen interior to it it just adds that mood lighting and it's not too crazy or large it's just the perfect size for the space i feel and the last little element i would add just to again utilize all of our vertical storage and get the most out of this living room is to add two picture lead shelves right above the sofa and if you've never heard a picture lead shelf before it is essentially like a very narrow shelf so it doesn't pop off of the wall very much they're normally around three or four inches and they have a small lip at the front so you can actually layer pictures on top of there so i wanted to share how you can create this really really simple gallery wall but i also love how all of the images are movable so if you wanted to go ahead and switch it up every now and then i like how with the shelves you can move photos around you can add new pictures in and just play around with the design of it but it is time to reveal this space the before and after is quite crazy and i will say that this rendering is a little over the top you guys i definitely think it gives you an example but i do feel like in real life it probably is going to look a little bit smaller than this but i did try to go ahead and get it as perfectly close as i could with still giving you an idea of what the whole space could look like so i hope you guys love this one as well i think this might be one of my favorites i i honestly really liked all three of them in this video especially the first one those gridded curtains are still stuck in my head and you guys that is another episode wrapped of what would drew do i hope that you guys love this one it gave you some design ideas i just feel like these are great videos to help anybody out because you can totally kind of reference any of these additions or things that i'm adding or taking away and utilize them in your own space as well i want to thank all of my lone fox family members for sending over their spaces and letting me use them in these videos they are so much fun and if you would like to submit your space to potentially be featured on what would drew do i will have the link in the description box below for you guys to take a look at it's really simple to go ahead and do so but something i will say guys if you are photographing a space do it horizontally like this and really pull your camera back as much as you can to get as much of the room in as possible i only am allowed to do one photo for a render so i really need as much of the space in there as possible and i do want to also give one quick last shout out to wayfair thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and you guys if you have not checked out wayfair's youtube channel i don't know what you are doing tap the link at the top of the description box below and head over to check out their brand new series slow build which again is like a mixture of asmr and design a perfect perfect blend for myself and they have a lot of other creative content as well so i highly just suggest subscribing to them as well but i'll catch you guys in my next one have an amazing rest of your day bye guys